Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. As they entered the gray and eye-listed building, the soon-to-be bride and groom were greeted by their bridal party, exhibiting few signs of nervousness ahead of the big day. According to a source, that the soon-to-be bride was all smiles and extremely relaxed as she left the rehearsal. Olivia wore a gray dress with leopard print, matching leopard print sneakers, and a silver necklace with a crucifix. Lady Edwina, Hugh's sister, was also seen entering the cathedral with her children, who were probably page boys and flower girls. Friday at noon, the low-key couple will say, I do in a private ceremony. Exclusively speaking to H-E-L-O, the very revved, Dr. Tim Stratford, Dean of Chester since 2018, said that Olivia's quite the decision to have the wedding at the cathedral was due to her fiancé's strong connections to the city and his family church. He continued, she has fallen in love with Chester. Additionally, the dean expressed his pride in the couple's decision to attend Chester Cathedral. They could have picked an isolated island, but they chose this one. The couple will personally select the readings for the Church of England ceremony that will take place at their wedding. The high society wedding is expected to have 400 guests, including Prince William, who is a close friend of the groom and will serve as one of the groom's ushers. Although he is no longer anticipated to attend, Prince George, William's 10-year-old son and Hughes Godson, was previously reported to be a page boy. William was in France to commemorate the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings, so he was unable to attend the rehearsal. Hugh and Olivia decided to get married at Chester Cathedral because the groom has been going there for a long time and it's close to Eaton Hall, where the wedding reception will be held. The couple plans to move north from London, where Olivia works for the food company Bellazoo although the exact location is unknown at this time. The future bride previously stated to town and country, it is obvious that this is where we will live and build our lives together. Additionally, we are gradually making the transition to move up from London, become much more permanent, and really establish roots here. Therefore, it was, in fact, a very simple choice in the end.